Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, depending, I guess, on when you're watching this. We're going to do something a little different today, not out hunting and fishing. Today, we're going to be making some beer. We got uh, American Light from uh, Brewer's Best here. So here are my ingredients. We got the uh, liquid malt. We got some hops, rice syrup, corn sugar, malt dry malt, more hops, yeast, this is going to be a priming sugar back there. So basically what I got started here, don't worry about that pie, that's soup, is I got two and a half gallons of water uh, going to be boiled. As soon as we get a boil on that, then we're going to take our uh, liquid malt extract and put it in. So as we're waiting for our water to boil here, we're taking our liquid malt extract and we got some really hot water going over it. This is going to help it pour out easier. So before any of this was done, I took my uh, equipment. I got a six, six gallon bucket here. I got uh, my paddle. I got some cleaning stuff over there. And I took my, so as you can see, I got the, uh, got the water in my pot boiling and I opened up the uh, liquid malt extract. So we're going to pour this liquid malt extract in. I had this running under hot water almost the whole time it was uh, waiting for this water to boil, which makes it a lot easier to get it out. So now we're just going to mix. We're just going to continuously stir for a bit. We want the extract to get all mixed up in there not burn on the bottom and your uh, water is now going to be warped Let this boil for 40 minutes before we add our next ingredients as you can see my uh, water is all mixed up it's now warped it has the extract in it and now we're going to add the packet of hops, uh, Willamette hop pellets. So we're going to add uh, one of these packets in there. It comes with two packets. They really, I mean, they look like little rabbit foods. But we got a whole thing of them. Okay, so we got our, one of our hops in there. We're going to stir these up. As you can see, the hops pellets have disintegrated into this green, uh, I mean, kind of looks like pond weed. And let's see, this was 528. So it's 40 minutes later. We got uh, the, the hops in there and the liquid malt extract. Now we are going to add the dry malt extract. Uh, we're going to add the corn sugar and the rice syrup. We're going to add these three. Once these three are added in, uh, we're going to let it boil another 20 minutes. This here is the dry malt extract. One pound. We're going to mix this in, keep stirring. Next up, we'll do the rice syrup, which is also a solid. All right, it's a powder. I'm just going to pour that right in there. And the final thing is going to be corn sugar. So I assume that this one, this beer, it's going to be very much like uh, a Budweiser or a Molson, Labatt Blue, uh, Peeber, PBR. Um, so I believe it is. So we added those in. We're going to stir it up here. And then we're going to let this boil for another 20 minutes. So our last step here, as you can see, we got a bunch of floaties and stuff on top here. That's all the extract, the hops, 
that's been in this for the last hour. The last step is to add the second packet of Willamette, Willamette, Will, William of hops. We're going to add our hops. And you see it are broken up. We're going to give her a stir here. Turn off our boil. Add hops. Terminate your boil. Make sure it all gets stirred up in there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, wort here and we're going to put it in the sink. The whole, whole, the whole uh, pan and we're going to cool it down. So we're just going to have cold water going around it. So what I got going on here is got my faucet as cold as it can be. Water is traveling around this to cool it off and then going over here to drain. This takes a bit, but we're going to whoop, we're going to give it a shot as it's the only way I got right now because I don't have a chiller. That might be one of my uh, things I get in the spring when I go back to Anchorage. So what we got here is we got our cooled wart and everything ready to go. We got our bucket here. We're going to transfer it the hose. Now in this step, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all the wart down in there without getting all the uh, stuff that we put into it, all the solids. So we're just going to not stir anything, let it all get down in there. We cooled the wart down to about 70 degrees before transfer. It took about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I want to get, a, like I said, a wart chiller so that uh, we can cool down faster. Alright, so we transferred our, our wart down into there. We'll take out our hose here. That is all the solids. That's the hops and a few other things. You don't want that in there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our, our yeast packet that comes with it. So before we add the yeast, we got to fill this up to roughly five gallons. I got a mark in here. So I'm just going to add water and then we'll uh, put the yeast in, stir everything about. And that's what it's all about. So I added uh, the water that needs to be in there. Now we're going to add the yeast. So as you can see, we got sort of a, a brownish canal, muddy water looking like stuff. What we're going to do now is we're going to cap it. This here little guy. So we're going to cap it. That's the only uh, way in or out. And as it bubbles, as the CO2 bubbles, they're going to come up here and bubble out the bottom which is, there's water in here. So it comes in, fills up the chamber inside. When that fills up, bubbles come out the bottom. Prevents air from getting into it and uh, ruining it. So, just give her a cap it off. Whoop! Oh, I think I just, yeah, I just put some water in there. Okay. And uh, we're gonna put this in my closet for two weeks. Uh, I think it's only a week. And then we're going to transfer it over to uh, a glass container. It's been, uh, it's been a week since we uh, put the beer into our six gallon uh, bucket there. What I got here is one of my new uh, hydrometers I got came in this week so we'll use it here. Not like it's going to mean much because I didn't take an alcohol reading before the, uh, when I put the beer in. But what we're going to do today is take the beer from here and funnel it into, uh, siphon it into the carboy down there. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the top off my beer here. Just scooch you down there. So, like I said, I got my six gallon uh, bucket there. I got my carboy here. Take the top off here. And, oh man, we got quite a bit of fermentation 
and this little uh, airlock got a lot of air and CO2 bubbling out. So that's a good thing. The last beer I did, I had first one last night, and it is not carbonated. Woohoo! All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the beer from in here, transfer it over to the glass carboy. There we go. Now when we're doing this, we don't want to get much of the solid, uh, solid mass in there. So we're just trying to get as much liquid, obviously, because that's the beer. And it's going to sit in here for another, another two weeks, and then we'll bottle it. Alright, so as you can see, we got my beer from my bucket into my carboy, which is filled up to about there. It's going to be roughly six, six gallons. So I got my airlock back on, and we're simply going to plug it in, leave it for two weeks, let it finish its fermenting, and then we'll get into bottling, which will be next. So, this is the, uh, the night before bottling. Uh, I have my beer ready to go, right there. And what I'm doing is cleaning up all the bottles I'm going to be using. So I've already cleaned all those, but of course, before you can actually start doing all your your cleaning for your brew, you have to drink a beer. It's sacrilegious not to be cleaning your beer making stuff for your beer without drinking a beer. Sacrilegious. As a matter of fact, that is an American Amber that I did that I was going to do a video on, but I completely forgot about it. But uh, it's not bad. It's, it's probably not as high of an alcohol uh, as it should be. It's probably around 3%. The, um, it never really got carbonated. Like, that, that's about as much as it did. Um, yeah, that wasn't, the taste isn't bad. But it's, it's, it's not as alcoholic as I thought it would be. So I think I might buy that one again and give it another go. So, anywho, so we got the bottles here. I got uh, I got the flip up top type here. So what you do with these is you get your top right in there, close it down, bottle is good to go. And then I got just a regular 12 ouncer bottle, brown. Always go with the brown. Don't go with clear. Sunlight can destroy your beer. So we just want to give it as much protection as possible. So you get the brown. And then I put them over in that corner with something on top of them. And uh, with these, I have uh, bottle caps that we'll, we'll go over tomorrow. But as of right now, we're just doing some cleaning. What I have in here is Dawn. Just a little bit of Dawn, hot water. Let them soak a little bit, then we're going to rinse them out. Uh, let them dry. And then, <clears throat> we're going to give them a little little bath of the Star Sand again. Um, you can buy this at... I, get, I always got it on... Uh, uh, there is a, a beer supply store. Um, over in Anchorage, as a matter of fact, I got these stuff delivered in from them today. It's a, I got some stoppers. Well, that was through that was through eBay, but I got a much larger star sand. I got a new six and a half gallon bucket and a six and a half gallon carboy, so I can get two beers going at once. Um, but it's it's Arctic Brewing in uh, Anchorage. And that's where I'm getting all my stuff from for now. Uh, that or eBay, or not eBay. What is this? Early 2000s? <laughs> Amazon. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't appear Amazon's shipping everything up here to Alaska. So I got to go with what I can get. And everything else, I just got to get it Arctic Brewing. So the first step today, so I already got my bottles 
cleaned up, washed up, cleaned up, washed up over there. So we're taking uh, whatever the little packet that comes with it of priming sugar in two cups of water, and then we're going to uh, going to dissolve it. So what we got here is we got our carboy, and we're siphoning off the beer into my bucket that has uh, the priming sugar and the water poured it in there. And then uh, as soon as this is done, we'll move on to bottling. As you can see, the yeast is up here at the top. Yeah. And there's going to be sediment down the bottom. And that's the sort of stuff you don't want in your beer. So just trying to get the liquid. So what we're doing now is we're filling up our beer bottles just with a little siphon coming out of the bottom of the hose or bottom of the bucket. Filling them up to about, whoop, about there, which gives us enough room to allow carbonation to continue. And they will be, uh, they will be sitting in a dark place for, for uh, two weeks, and then they will be ready to go. So it's, uh, it's been a couple weeks, two weeks. Actually, it's been a little bit more. Two weeks was, uh, I don't know, like six, seven days ago. So this is my Pilsner. Let me get a bottle opener here. Got my big, the original chicken wing bottle opener. Anchor Bar, Buffalo, New York. Now, I've had a few of these. It's, uh... It's not super uh, carbonated. There we go. You got a little bit. So that's my beer. That's the Pilsner. As I said, pouring it out. It's not a bad beer. It's uh, not very fruity. It's floral. Uh, this is the Brewer's Best Pilsner. Uh, I give it. A, I'll go with six and a half out of ten. And. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd do this one again. I think this is more of a, a springtime or a summer beer. Like I said, it's light. So, definitely be on my list to make again. Um, you like this brewing video? I'm going to be doing a few more, but these are going to be more sporadic and spread out as uh, it takes six weeks to brew one beer. So, that's going to do it from here. Remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell.